Oh, hey, we got a new picture of John Cryer as Lex Luthor. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> oh, let's talk about this in the, in the Poindexter Lounge, whatever this thing is. Oh, my gosh. What's up, nerd family? Welcome once again to the Poindexter Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and usually with me is the lovely Tiftastic, but she is not here today. Um, I just had a minute taking a break here at work and uh, wanted to bring you some information that just came across my email, uh, and that is a new picture, the first picture of John Cryer as Lex Luthor as he will appear on Supergirl. And folks, um, man. This is this is kind of everything that I was afraid of, but let's uh, let's talk about this. Uh, I got this uh, article from uh, ComicBook.com, and uh, they sent uh, they put this out, and so um, just gonna kind of read you what it says. It says here it is at long last, Supergirl is about to meet a formidable match when Lex Luthor comes to National City. Ooh, uh, the CW is about to bring the iconic DC villain to the small screen, and a first look just went out live of John Cryer's version of Lex Luthor. And then here's where it, it derails from what I think is actual fact and truth. Uh, it says, clearly, clearly the actor has come a long way from Two and a Half Men. The sitcom star didn't have to worry about Kryptonians on his old show. Um, it doesn't look like from the looks of this that he's come too far from then because he looks pretty much exactly the same, just with no hair and a beard. Um, as you can see below, the first look photo shows off Lex Luthor in grungy state, in a grungy state. The famously bald villain is seen behind bars in what looks to be a maximum security prison. Yep, and his name printed on the door. Luthor has got some dark facial hair framing his jawline. And I wonder why that is. Probably because John Cryer doesn't have a jawline. Um, he's kind of a, of a little wimpy guy, and uh, you got to give him a beard to uh, get rid of that look. Look, I have a beard to frame my jawline because I have a baby face. If you want to know what I would look like without facial hair, look at Landon Calrissian here on the show, uh, here on the channel, because that's exactly what I look like. I look like a 12-year-old boy. Difference is, I'm not trying to play Lex Luthor. I know that that's probably not a role that my face would uh, would be good on. Anyways, uh, and his piercing stare is unsettling to say the least. Of course it is because it looks awkward and it looks just wrong. It doesn't look menacing. It doesn't look like somebody that I'd be scared of. Lex Luthor is supposed to be this presence, right? That man, he just walks in a room and you're scared. You're, you, you, he commands respect. There is nothing about that photo, comicbook.com, that even suggests that he's that type of Lex Luthor. So I don't know, a piercing stare that says it's unsettling to say the least. It looks like the baddie has something up his sleeve. Um, yeah, and well, probably because they're bringing him on the show, right? And fans can bet Kara Danvers will not be a fan of that scheme. Yeah, okay. Whatever, Superman should be dealing with this, but he's off planet, you know, he's on Argo, you know, whatever. Um, says, for those eager to see Cryer's take on the baddie, Luther will be will join Supergirl on March 17th. His big debut will take place in Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh, and see the older man attempt to blackmail his sister Lena to help him out. You can read up on the episode synopsis below, and here's the episode synopsis. It says, Lex, Lex Luther uh, reaches out from prison to enlist Lena into one of his plans and will stop at nothing to get her on board, even if that means leveraging the life of one of her friends. That sounds like Lex Luthor. Uh, so far, very little is known about how Cryer will bring Lex to life. In a recent interview with ComicBook.com, Supergirl executive producers Jessica uh, Queller and Robert Rov Rovner uh, had nothing but praise for the actor. John Cryer is just a phenomenal actor, and he's got that twinkle in his eye, Queller said. He's masterful. He's got humor. He's just going to kill it. Um, that's my concern, is that he's going to kill the character of Lex Luthor, uh, and not in a good way. He's got humor? I'm sorry. I didn't realize Lex Luthor was going around telling jokes. I mean, is Lex Luthor going to move in with Lena and kind of live off of her for seven years, um, kind of like John Cryer did in Two and a Half Men? Is he going to bring his uh, Is he going to bring his son along with him and, um, you know, kind of 
do that since he's in prison and doesn't have the ability to make any money anymore? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, this, this is exactly what I thought when I first thought of John Cryer as Lex Luthor. Um, of course you got to give him facial hair because, oh, because he's in prison and that makes him a hardened criminal. Whatever. Whatever. He's Lex Luthor. Um, he should be better than this. Um, he's not a jokester. He's not somebody that goes around being silly or stupid. Even the Gene Hackman version of this character, uh, even though he's surrounded by idiots, he points out their idiocracies and, and points out the fact that they're stupid. And he's the serious one with a plan, with a plot. I swear, if Lex Luthor goes around dropping a bunch of one-liners or trying to be funny in this or snarky, I'm not going to be happy because there's one thing about Lex Luthor. When you look at the animated series, when you look at Michael Rosenbaum on Smallville, even those awkward moments between Michael Rosenbaum and Tom Welling on Smallville, when Lex Luthor is lying to his face so many times, and we're rewatching Smallville, so we're almost at season five right now with the boys, and reliving some of that stuff where he is lying directly to uh, Clark's face and doing it with a straight face. There's no joking. There's no laughing. There's no lighthearted moments with, with him. So why would Lex Luthor need a twinkle in his eye or to have humor? No. Again, John Cryer is not Lex Luthor. John Cryer is the Supergirl version of Lex Luthor, which pretty much every Supergirl version of everything is dumbed down and made into something that it's not really in the comics. So there you go. That's my feeling on it. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I would love to be able to paint a positive picture of this, and I'll be watching. I'll be watching March 17th, uh, the old brother Where Art Thou uh, episode. He's probably going to break out of jail, you know, and probably join a singing group. I don't know. Uh, but you know, I'll be watching and I, and I, I hope for the best, but if it's anything like anything pretty much else that I've seen on Supergirl, it's, it's going to be pretty much a disappointment. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let us know what you guys think of this. Are you looking forward to this? Um, do you think John Cryer is going to nail it, um, or kill it as it were? Uh, or do you, uh, or do you see this kind of going the same route that I do? and just basically being another notch on the Supergirl TV show's uh, kill list for, for the characters in the DC universe. Let me know down in the comments section. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys to everyone who's watching. We just passed over 500 videos here on the channel. And so that's a pretty cool thing. We're at like 507 with this video and kind of kind of snuck up on me pretty quick. But we're almost to 6,000 subscribers. And remember this month, if you subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit notifications and hit one of our social medias that's all in the description there. You have a chance to win a Grand Tiff Tarkin action figure. That's my wife's action figure that I made for her. Only three available, uh, and I have one, she has one, and you can have one as well. So there's only one available uh, for the general public, as it were. So uh, make sure to do all those things, and make sure to tell us that you are interested in the figure, all right? Until next time, oh man, I can't wait till Superman shows back up. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.